Black's king side has been slightly weakened by the exchange of his age pawn for the white e-pawn. After the advance of the white age pawn, Black will have significant problems with his structure, which would not be the case if the pawn was still on g7. h3 h4 Bishop f6 g7 Knight f3 g5 f7 f5 Bishop e4 c2 Rook e8 e7 Rook e8 e7, h4 h5, Rook e7 takes on a7, Rook a1 captures a7, Queen d8 b6, Rook a7 a1 Bishop c8 f5 Queen d2 c2 Bishop c8 f5 Queen d2 c2 Queen d8 c8 h5 takes on g6 f7 takes on g6 Knight f3 d2 Black's last chance to save the game came through. Rook e7 captures a7. Rook a1 takes on a7. Bishop f6 d8. Black is aiming to get the badly placed bishop to c5, where it would help somewhat. White is still better, but black can resist quite a lot. I would guess that Jurgads failed to see this option simply because leaving the white rook unchallenged on the 7th rank seemed dangerous. And certainly it is dangerous, but the dangers connected with doing nothing are considerable too. King g8 f8 Rook a7 a6 With this move, white keeps control over the a-file, leaves black with the poorly placed rook on e7, and delays slash prevents the bishop on f6 making it to b6 in the near, future. Queen c8 d7 Bishop e4 captures f5. Was perhaps stronger at this point. Black would have more difficulties defending the pawn on f5 than he would on g6. But Adams prefers to keep the control that comes with having a good knight against a bad bishop. Knight d2 f1. Rook e7 f7. Knight f1 g3 
Bishop f6 h4 is refuted by Bishop e4 takes on f5 g6 captures f5 Rook a6 a7 Queen d7 captures a7 Rook a1 takes on a7 Rook f7 captures a7 Knight g3 captures f5 And next the queen comes in to finish off the weakened black king Knight g3 captures f5 And next the queen comes in to finish off the weakened black king Bishop f5 captures e4 Knight g3 captures e4 Bishop f6 e7 Was probably the best chance but this is of course quite desperate. Bishop f6 e7 Rook a6 a7 Queen d7 c8 was necessary. However, white has a great advantage after. It is even stronger to force matters with. Bishop e4 takes on f5. g6 captures f5. Queen c2 d1. Followed by r1 a6 and qh5 with a winning attack. Rook b8 b7. A final small tactical mistake in a bad position. Rook a7 captures b7. Rook a7 captures b7. Queen d7 c8 was necessary. However, white has a great advantage after. Queen c2 d2. Rook b8 b7. A final small tactical mistake in a bad position. Rook a7 captures b7. Queen d7 takes on b7. Bishop e4 captures f5. g6 captures f5. Knight g3 takes on f5. Queen b7 captures d5. Queen c2 d2. Queen d5 captures d2. Rook a1 a8. Bishop e7 d8. Rook a8 captures d8. Queen d5 c6. Queen d2 h6. King f8 e8. Queen h6 e6.